Hello students, welcome to another lesson of Maths Made Easy. Today we're going to learn on a topic called exponents, which we will need throughout our whole high school career. So today we're going to learn on the basics of what is an exponent and what is a base. So as you seen on the example below, a raised to a power of n, where a is a base and n is your exponent. So in exponents, there are six different types of laws that we're going to learn. Namely, a to the exponent x times a to the exponent y equals a to the power of x plus y. The next one we're going to learn is a to the power x divided by a to the power y is equal to a to the power of x minus y. We're going to learn of any a to the power x raised to the power y equals to a to the power x times y. The fourth one, any base to the power 0 is equal to 1. The fifth one, any base raised to the power of minus 1 is equal to 1 divided by a to a positive 1. The sixth one, any root to the power x with the base of a is equal to a to the power x divided by y. So just to recap, there's four rules there. And there's another two rules here. So now we're going to go to each law on its own with an example. So the first law was a to the power x times a to the power y is equal to the a to the power x plus y. So let's put it in practice. 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power 3 is equal to 2 to the power of 4 plus 3, which is equal to 2 to the power 7. Let's do another example. 3 to the power x times 3 to the power y is equal to 3 to the power x plus y. So let's put numbers to it now. 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 1 is equal to 3 to the power 3 plus 1. And the final answer will be 3 to the power 4. Just a recap, we move into the second law. a to the power x divided by a to the power y is equal to the a to the power x minus y. So let's put some numbers. 2 to the power 6 divided by 2 to the power 3 is equal to 2 to the power 6 minus 3, which is equal to 2 to the power 3. Another example. 3 to the power 4 divided by 3 to the power 6 is equal to 3 to the power 4 minus 6, which is equal to 3 to the power minus 2. The next law, a to the power x all raised to another power y is equal to a to the power x times y. Put some numbers. 2 to the power 3 all raised to the power 2 is equal to 2 to the power 3 times 2 which is equal to 2 to the power 6. Put some more another example. 
you notice that the bases have changed but I'm going to show you how to write an answer so 3 to the power 4 raised to the power 2 is equal to 3 to the power 4 times 2 which is equal you'll notice that the bases will still carry across we are only changing the power so 4 times 2 is equal to 8 so the answer is 3 to the power 8 The fourth law any base to the power 0 is equal to 1 so let's put some numbers x to the power 0 is equal to 1 5 to the power 0 is equal to 1 so if you want to test this exponent law put any number in your calculator and raise it to the power 0 and you'll notice that the answer will be 1 the fifth law any base to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 over the base to a positive number so let's put an example with numbers 2 to the power minus 2 is equal to 1 over 2 to the power positive 2 another example 3 to the power of negative 4 is equal to 1 over 3 to the 1 over 3 to the power positive 4 the last one any root to a base with the power of x is equal to a to the power x over y so for example 2 to the power of 6 root of 3 you'll say 2 to the power of 6 over 3 which is equal to 2 to the power 2 another example 2 to the power of 4 root of 2 equals 2 to the power of 4 over 2 which is equal to 2 to the power of 2